a tool using carrier crab, holds coral over his head with a specially modified fifth leg, crab camo. And a true denizen of the dark, a meter long kite fin shark. Its oily body helps it to maintain its ballast in the ocean depths. Hardly ever been seen alive before now, two meter long jelly nose fish with a soft rubbery body and cartilage skeleton. An ocean sunfish, the heaviest of bony fish weighing over a ton. A monkfish is a sure sign that they're approaching the bottom. It likes to hide on a muddy seabed and can descend to a thousand meters or more. Tube worms and forests of an enemy, true aliens of the deep. A larval medusa dances past the lens. flamboyant red gurnard. A fish that walks. Finger-like rays extend from the fins and act like spider legs to carry it over the sediment. It threatens the intruder with its poison-tipped spines. A finger-like projection help it search for food hidden in the mud. The Gurnard is another deep sea denizen now being hunted. As shallow water stocks are depleted, fishermen must trawl ever lower to make a living. This loggerhead has his eyes on dinner, but the slipper lobster has other ideas. Strange spider crabs. Primitive ratfish. Sea anemones. And of course, coral. The spiny armor of a spider crab helps keep predators at bay. A pollock uses the kelp for shelter. Brittle stars, large cousins of starfish, clamber high to ensnare tiny prey as it drifts past. Between their five legs are five jaws, ready to devour almost anything they can catch. Urchin is the old English word for hedgehog, which is what they look like. They don't have eyes, but feel their way around with tiny, sticky legs. Too prickly for most predators, they can destroy whole forests of algae. Luckily, there are a few hunters with the guts to take them on, such as the mean-looking two-meter wolf eel. The seafloor is a paradise for invertebrates, especially crabs. They seem to be everywhere. Including this edible crab, much sought after for the table. A pale ghost-like shape glimmers in the gloom, a chimera. Chimera means made from parts of different animals. This primitive fish is the missing link between sharks and rays. Evolving around 340 million years ago, when the two species split, it's mostly shark, but still glides on large ray-like fins. They are the oldest group of fish, widespread in ancient seas, but now mostly confined to the deep. They are a rare sight in such shallow water. 
Even in the dark abyss, it can find food and navigate with its sensitive nose. Despite the dark, the seabed has some remarkably colorful inhabitants. Sea anemones, distant relatives of coral. Not delicate flowers, but predatory animals. The wafting tentacles are waiting for contact with a passing fish or crab. When the victim brushes past, the head of the tentacle explodes, harpooning the prey and pumping it full of neurotoxin. Sea squirts cling to the sides, their gaping tube-like bodies filtering water to extract plankton from the currents. And tube worms extend their delicate fans to sift through the passing debris. They are all creatures that would normally seek a coral reef. The chimera seems to dance in front of the diver, perhaps picking off plankton attracted by their lights. Basking stars are huge relatives of starfish that can be 70 centimetres across. Their wriggling, medusa-like tentacles waft, trying to catch passing debris. Colourful sea fan corals sit high on the reef. Nudibranchs farm the sea fans. The sea slugs absorb the sea fans' toxins and use it in self-defense, adding poison to their colorful tentacles. A true shark, the smooth hound, also a deep sea hunter. Another walking gurnard hunts prawns. A large red prawn walks dangerously close to a monkfish lurking on the ocean floor. It hopes its camouflaged skin will fool the prawn into coming within striking distance. But the cautious prawn backs off. Smaller prawns groom the monkfish's plant-textured skin, keeping well clear of the head end. Meanwhile, dinner's got away. Looking like space movie monsters, King crabs are truly alien to these reefs. Hailing from the North Pacific, their larvae arrived as illegal stowaways on the undersides of ships, but now they thrive on Rost Reef. One feeds on its dead neighbor. In this tough, deep-sea environment, every animal must use any nutrients it can find. <laughs> 